William Henry Eccles was the first who coined the term diode in 1919. It was derived from the Greek roots as di, meaning two, and ode, meaning electrodes. The different types of diodes are light-emitting diode, commonly known as LED, used in road signals or as LED TVs. Photodiodes, used as light detectors or light sensors in industries like communication, medical, automobile, headlights of a car. Laser diode, used as pointers, security alarms, etc. PN junction diode acts as a base for all these diodes and other diodes are modified from the PN junction diode. Now let's understand more about this PN junction diode. Let's break the concept of diode into three parts. That is construction, working and biasing of the diode. So let's start with the construction of a diode. Here as the name PN junction diode itself suggests, we form P and N junctions on the pure semiconductor material. We dope P-type impurities like boron on the left half of one slice. Boron atom being trivalent accepts one electron from the neighboring silicon atom and creates a vacancy or hole in the silicon structure. As boron accepts one electron, it loses its neutrality and becomes negatively charged ion. These ions are immobile in nature, thus we have holes and negative ions which are formed in the left half which forms the anode and acts as a positive terminal. The n-type impurities are doped onto the other half of the same slice. When we add the pentavalent atoms like phosphorus to the silicon slice, they form four bonds with four neighboring atoms of silicon and we get one electron that remains free. As the phosphorus atom donates one electron, it loses its neutrality and becomes a positively charged immobile ion. The N region has free electrons and positive ions. This terminal is called as cathode and it acts as a negative terminal. As a result of this doping, an electrical isolation is formed between the two regions which depict a junction. The symbol of the diode is as shown.